to some stories that we're following from all across Metro Detroit this morning. And those stories are from Romulus and Royal Oak, but we do want to begin here in Frazier, and this was really scary. A train crashed into the back of a semi truck, bringing down power lines and creating a huge traffic mess during rush hour. It happened last night on Utica Road, just north of Grossback, and after the semi was not able to clear the railroad tracks, and an oncoming train hit it. The impact pushed the semi and the trailer into a woman's car and two other vehicles. It also snapped the power lines, causing a massive explosion. The driver of that semi, Ray Mayovic, did li live to talk about the crash. I got hit by the train. He just blew the horn so late, and I was so surprised. You're very lucky. Just be careful with the tracks. Don't sit on them. Police say that those trapped by the live wires did right by staying where they were. The only time that you should leave a vehicle when wires are on top of it is if your life's in danger because that vehicle is on fire. The family of a man who was killed by Royal Oak Police is suing the city now for wrongful death. You might remember back in May, Cody Reynolds was shot after police say that he stabbed his mother and hit his father in the head. Prosecutors say that the officer was acting in lawful self-defense. Over to Romulus now, where a man wanted in connection to a shooting has turned himself into police. Kion Smith turned himself into police Monday night. Investigators say that a woman was shot in the face on Saturday and taken to a hospital for medical care, and they believe that Smith was involved.